left my keys in the house. Man, I'll be glad to get this place cleaned back up. That seems like so common. That, and no matter what you do, you always have to go from total disarray to order. Or things just have to get worse before they get better. Uh, hopefully, things are on the upward turn. It's starting to look like a building now. Got a lot of blocks left to lay, though. So originally I intended to get away from the bag mortar, buy the raw ingredients, and mix this stuff myself, but for consistency's sake, I just decided to stick with what I started with. Plus, I'm running out of room outside the shop for piles of ingredients, and you, know, you can't get much easier than adding a little water, and you're good to go. So by the time I'm done laying these blocks, I'll probably be getting relatively decent at it. And I can say with all honesty that I'm glad that the first few rows that I did are going to be below ground. The grout bag, I feel like it saved me a lot of time, or a lot of mortar probably, over using the trowel. I have used it quite a bit, just trying to practice with it, and I end up with half of it on the ground every time. That's something I believe... If you were going to be going into this as a profession, as block laying as a profession, you would want to use the trowel because it is faster when you're good at it. But that takes time, and uh, by the time I got halfway decent with it, I'd be done with this job. So I decided to stick with the grout bag. So you can watch all the block laying videos you want. Unless they're hours long, they're going to leave out little details that you kind of just have to learn by doing. And uh, one thing that I took for granted on the first few rows was that you have to set your block down pretty much where it needs to be. Because the, by the time you move it around and get it in position, the weight of that block has smashed out the majority of the mortar that you put below it and the block ends up being too low. So There's just a hundred little things like that that you learn simply by doing that you don't learn by just watching somebody. But that goes with about anything actually. Most things are not as easy as they look but they're not too hard to try or to you know, attempt to do on your own.
So what you're seeing here is a thorough inspection. Uh, walnut is leaving no block unchecked, even looking down in the cells of the blocks to make sure that you know there's enough mortar squeezed through the joints to give a strong bond. Peanut even, or walnut, <laughs> peanut, walnut, walnut even checks the mortar by tasting it to make sure that the mix is proper. He's thorough, and uh, it's hard working under these conditions, but you know, he's got he's to okay the job before it can move forward. I need that level. Well, So this is going pretty good, I think. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. The six-foot level really coming in handy. Just laying it along the outside of the wall, or you know, inside, whichever, for uh, making sure that my blocks are straight with one another. Checking up and down the wall to make sure that the wall is coming straight up. Obviously, got a string line here that I'm using as well. And I've been laying it across the top to make sure that I don't have any big valleys or anything because I made a mistake earlier and had to bust out a few blocks, chip out a few blocks and make a repair. Actually, I did it twice. I had one down here. I kind of got in a rush on this, this row here um, and just took for granted a few things and I paid for it. So I'm really trying to take my time on this row. Uh, not necessarily my time, I'm just being much more careful. Uh, and it's turning out pretty good, I think. Looks good, anyway. And I've got one more row to do on top of this row, and then I'll be done with uh, the long run, anyway. The uh, floor level will be, top of the floor will be right about here. So we should have two rows of block above the, above the floor, which should be plenty in case you want to spray it down in here. You know, you're not spraying directly on the wood. The block's a little more uh, resilient when it comes to moisture and stuff. And I've also got to seal this as well. Some sort of moisture barrier on the outside of the wall and on the inside of the wall. Then once I'm satisfied with this, it'll get grouted uh, solid, basically. Because this this part of the wall, especially, is going to experience a lot of loads. It'll have the earth this way and some earth this way. It'll have you know, it'll be holding the fill underneath the pad. So it's important that this be very strong. That's why these rebar are on 16-inch centers. Um, and, you know, it should be more than capable of handling anything that I throw at it. 
That's a thought anyway. Picked me up a gray Peanut the Squirrel mug. Actually, I got two of them. I like the gray. It's got a good look to it. I'm also going to be changing my little guy image on the channel. I'm just ready for a change, I think. So, if you got any ideas on a channel logo, you know, the little, uh, little guy has changed for that, let me know. Leave it in the, the comments or send me an email. Girl, what are you doing? Want something to eat? Come on. Come on. Here. Come on. Here. There you go. So for my first time really laying block, other than the couple practice runs that I've done, I think my work's turned out pretty good, considering how bad it could be, anyway. And all that matters is that I'm satisfied with it, and it's not an eyesore, nor is it, you know, a structural issue. It'll, it'll hold up just fine, I'm sure. I enjoyed this work. I really did enjoy laying these block, but I'll be glad when the job's done. It's definitely a physically demanding job and there's just no way to get around it. These blocks are heavy, they're abrasive, messing with concrete and mortar, just hard work. So hats off to the guys that do this every day. It's, it's definitely one of those jobs where you earn your money. Alright, so this top row is done to right here, and I've just set my blocks out on top of the wall, just checking before I get near the end to see uh, how my mortar joints are going to... I don't want to be surprised when I get to the end and be way short. I felt like that I was a little wide on all of these joints on the top, and, and I was correct. You can see I'm pretty tight here, so what I'm going to do is chip this block here just a little bit off the end to give me a little more spacing on these joints here so it just all looks like it should won't hurt a thing and uh, that's the way I'm gonna make up for the space that I've lost or that I used up really on this section here And it helps to always hit in towards the block, especially if you get toward a corner. If you was to hit out with a hammer, you'd break that corner out. So hitting in, for me, helps to avoid breaking them any worse than they already are. I can probably just use a, my grinder and this will be easier without much shrapnel.
There we go. Starting to almost be a wall. Another mm -hmm. oh, another Not bad. A little low here, but just, uh, I mean, almost none, really. Not enough to make any difference. Mortar will make it up. Big guy there, fat. So here's a look at the back wall where, you know, I was pretty concerned about tying into this existing wall with my new wall. You can see the transition here. Once this is, I'll pressure wash this building once I'm done. And once it gets some age on it, I don't think you'll be able to really tell. Unless you really look close anyway. Looks okay. I'm happy with the way it's turned out. The way that I'm getting these blocks into these sockets and getting them full of mortar and centered is I'm just setting some pins in here moving the block in this holds my mortar gap space uh, below the block keeps it level and then I just take that grout bag and pump around it and it holds it pretty good and then once I'm well not once I'm done but here shortly I'm going to pour these cells full of mortar and that will tie this old wall into the new wall it'll be a column of concrete right down through these blocks so there's no way it's going to come come loose plus with the old wire that i left into this wall it'll get laid out and uh, it'll all be just as one like it was before this void down here hopefully you can see that and that's all hopefully that's in in uh, in in frame below the part of the pad where i had to dig out for the footer that's just going to get poured full of concrete i'll box that in and pump it full and then you know it'll be just fine that'll be supported and closed off it should be good to go so i'm gonna go to the other side put the pins in it that'll level it up then i just take that uh, grout bag and pump that full i mean it's worked so far and it looks looks good so, i mean it's not as good as you know setting the block down on a bed of mortar but it's as good as i can do uh, given the situation like I say once these are poured you know to lock it all together now I've got a load of stone out here, but it's a little big in my opinion to be dumping down in these cells. So me and Elizabeth are going to jump in the truck. I'll take you with me and we can go get some finer stone in order to fill these up. Got to do that before I move forward. It won't get easier uh, to do uh, than it is right now. So let's go get some stone.
So we made it back safely. An old used pickup truck is the best pickup truck, in my opinion. One you can use and not worry about scratching. That's a load of number nine. I think it's 2,700 pounds is what the ticket said. This stone cost less probably than the gas it took to get there and back. But I went ahead and just got as much as the truck would safely drive and hold. What I don't use, I'll throw on the driveway. But you get the idea. A lot of nice stone that'll fit good down into the into the wall there. And probably not hang up on the wire and stuff. What are you doing? Walnut, what do you think about that rock? Is That's going to be hot on your little paws. It's tough. Oh, oh, I can tell. Hot on the little feet. <laughs> So that may or may not be enough number nine to get me grouted solid but we'll find out i guess it's all that <laughs> that's all that pickup truck would hold let's run up the driveway across the creek here to my neighbor's house and pick up those two big sliding glass doors and see what they look like So let's get a look at these they're sliding glass doors actually right now but hopefully i can turn these into some nice windows they're four feet by six feet eight and that's to the outside of this vinyl covered wood frame these are pella double insulated glass sliding doors is what they actually are but there's the frames are starting to come off these are these are not in great shape and i'm assuming that's why that they replace these not because the glass itself is bad so these old frames they're just wood with a vinyl coating can come off and then we're left with a glass insert that could be made into anything you want really i think it would make some nice windows with some custom frames you know they fold out spaced i don't know i'll have to draw it up and get a, a better mental image of what it would look like but there's some big glass and good glass so you know i can't imagine that i could buy better glass than that for a reasonable price anyway so if i can turn those into windows that'll be a score they're plenty big so there they are i think uh with a little work those would make some really nice nice windows 
Well, that's it this week. It's turned out pretty good, I think, so far. I'm a lot farther along on this at the moment than I thought I'd be. I figured what I would happen, what would happen is I would do a couple rows and find that it wasn't for me, you know, and, and give up on this. But it's actually looking pretty good. And if it all turns out the way that it has, I'll be, I'll be happy with it. So the next step is to grout this solid before it gets much higher. It has to be grouted in order to get any real strength out of this wall because it's going to be holding in the earth underneath the pad and right now it's just blocks standing on top of each other so if we fill these cells with concrete then it'll act as a solid wall or more like a solid wall anyway so looking forward to that and then getting the materials I need to frame up the wood section building the frames for my big windows and getting this thing closed in now I've got a favor to ask uh, if you don't mind go check out my buddy Matthew look his YouTube channel is Look Creations. I'll put a link down in the video description. Uh, he was one of my first seven subscribers, and I watched his channel long before I ever started my own. So I've known him for some time, and it would make me feel good to see his channel grow. So go check him out. You could also uh, get you a straight edge at the moment. He's doing a video series on a hand scraped straight edge. He's talented when it comes to uh, scraping and stuff. So go check him out. You'll see the details when it comes to the straight edge and how you can win it, I think, and uh, give him a subscription. I'd really love to see his channel grow. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Viewers, patrons, subscribers, anybody who's supported me on this massive, massive project. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, see you next time.